okay, we are going to revisit gravitational potential energy in this question. Do it, you know, significantly differently this time. So let's say we start very close to the Earth on the Earth's surface. I'll just draw a line here. And we travel all the way to a, a very large distance away from the Earth, maybe several hundred kilometers. Well, the acceleration of gravity is not going to remain constant there. So we remember that we must take everything radius-wise from the center of the Earth. So the distance from here to our first location here, let's just call it R1. And then I'll try to do some dashed lines from here all the way out to our new location. We'll call that R2. Well, in this case, since gravity acceleration is not constant, it really involves integral calculus to solve this. Now, I know that's beyond the scope of our AP Physics 1 class, but it's still nice to visit the concept. So what do we need to do? Well, force gravity is equal to G M1 M2 divided by R squared. So in order to calculate uh, work done, work is always equal to force times distance. So we need some kind of force times radius then, because our distance we're traveling is, is a radius. So how do we do that? We actually take the integral of our force gravity equation, and we do it from uh, R1 to R2, R1 being very, very, very close to the Earth, and R2 being very far away. And then, of course, we multiply this by dr. Now notice how I'm differentiating. Capital M stands for the mass of the Earth, and little m stands for the mass of the object. Now we can pull out all the constants in front of our integral. So I'm going to pull out a g, an m, and a little m. And then we're going to integrate from r1 to r2 of 1 over r squared dr. Now what exactly is dr? Well dr is any infinitesimal change in radius going from there to there, very very tiny. So essentially there's an infinite number of drs from here all the way to there because we can keep making it smaller and smaller. And uh, that's why we need the integral. We need the integral because we've got all these small little drs infinitely from center of the earth all the way out to where we're located. So what does the integral look like when we're done? Well, you know that 1 over r squared dr, the integral of that is just a negative 1 over r. And that looks like this. So we have a negative g m m over r, evaluate over the definite integral from uh, r1 to r2. So that's going to look like this. We're going to have a big G, big M, little m, multiplied by and we'll keep the negative outside. 1 over R2 minus 1 over R1. Because we'll plug in R2 for R and then subtract R1 for R. Now I like to factor my negative 1 into this. So I'm going to end up with uh, G big M little m multiplied by 1 over R1 minus 1 over R2. And then I'm going to call this equation delta <laughs> gravitational potential energy. The change in gravitational potential energy when I start close to the Earth and move farther away. Now, of course, it will work if you start farther from the Earth and come closer then R1 becomes your distance far away from the Earth, and R2 is your distance uh, closer to the Earth. And uh, that's how it works. It's, uh, now it's just a plug-and-chug equation to get your change in gravitational potential energy.